Impact evaluations are the methods used to assess the effectiveness and the impact of a particular intervention, policy or program. It is a type of evaluation that measures changes or the outcomes that can be attributed to an intervention or the program. And basically, we can classify impact evaluation into three types. The experimental impact evaluation, quasi-experimental impact evaluation, and non-experimental impact evaluations. Experimental impact evaluation involves randomly assigning individuals or groups to receiving and non-receiving groups and then measuring the difference in the outcomes between these two groups. It means that one group receives the intervention and another does not, and the difference are measured to see the impact of any intervention. Randomized controlled trials are good examples of the ex experimental impact evaluation and it is often considered as the gold standard for impact evaluation. The quasi-experimental impact evaluation uses a comparison group that is not randomly assigned, but it is carefully selected to be similar to the intervention group in terms of key characteristics. Quasi-experimental designs are used when it is not possible or not ethical to conduct RTC. It involves selecting a comparison group that is similar to the treatment group in terms of key characteristics such as the demographics and other factors. Difference in differences, regression discontinuity design, and propensity score matching are some of the quasi-experimental methods used in impact evaluation. Lastly, non-experimental impact evaluations are the type of evaluation that uses a statistical method to compare outcomes before and after the interventions and also to control for other factors that could affect the outcomes. Non-experimental evaluations can be useful when there is no comparison group or when the experimental or quasi-experimental designs are not feasible. Non-experimental impact evaluation simply measures the difference between the end line and the baseline without a control group, which is before and after the intervention. Case study approaches and post-intervention only approaches can also be used in non-experimental impact evaluation. Without a control group, non-experimental method cannot control for various factors affecting the intervention such as community contextual factors and other selection biases. So while selecting the impact evaluation, the first choice has to be the experimental design followed by quasi-experimental design and then finally the non-experimental design.